Ah, you came here for that. Got some rare tarantulas here if you're interested. Hello everybody, welcome to this latest episode. I am your host Robbie and this is Robbie's Talking Tees. Tarantula content for tarantula lovers just like yourselves. If you want to become a better tarantula keeper or you're just here to admire these amazing animals, make sure to subscribe to the channel, comment down below and smash that like button. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the rare species I keep in my collection and also doing a feeding. It's something that I've been meaning to do for a while but just haven't had the time to get round to it. So today's that day. Hopefully you're ready, the tarantulas are hungry. Let's find out, shall we? Yeah, let's do it. Let's show you them rare species. So here are the 10 species in the collection that I will be showcasing in this video. And there's one more that I'm waiting to be delivered from the spider shop, which will hopefully come today. If it does, I'll show it in this video. If it doesn't, I'll make a totally different video of it altogether. But fingers crossed, it turns up. So 10 species. 10 feedings, all rare, all awesome. I hope you enjoy them all. We're going to start with this one first. So first up, we have an Avicularia species. And this little beauty is Avicularia boa vista. You don't see these too often in the hobby. They are an absolutely stunning species once they put on some size. Hopefully this one is hungry. I'm going to put the worm on the web here. Ooh, I scared it a bit there. And hopefully we get this little one to come out and say hello. Now I have got tiny micro worms as you can see yep it's interested look at those toes oh lovely beautiful feeding clip There it is, munching on the mealworm. Fantastic little spider. Sorry for the shaky camera work. Let's try and get closer. It's just sinking its fangs into the worm. Oh, lovely fang action. Now, are we going to get a happy dance? Stunning footage. 
such a beautiful species. Look at that gorgeous booty. So there it is, Avicularia boa vista. Next up we have an absolutely stunning species. And this is Homeoma Blue Peru 2. Now these are just like Trixopelma lagunus. They do have the same colours, the same markings, they look exactly the same. But rest assured, they are two different species. Imagine they're like Brachypelma smithy and Brachypelma homori. There's subtle differences to them. But to the naked eye, they are two. They are exactly the same, they look exactly the same. Let's see if we can get this one to eat. Not showing any interest as of yet. It may be in pre malt, it may not eat. Sometimes this one takes a little while before it thinks, you know what, I am hungry. I do want that work. If it doesn't eat, it doesn't matter. I'll get some better close up clips of this species as it is absolutely stunning. The blues are just starting to come through on the legs. Now this is one of those species that I do recommend to beginners in the hobby. Their temperament is amazing. They're very calm, very placid, and they do like to explore once they put on some size. Are you going to eat that worm? I don't think it wants the worm. Otherwise it would have eaten it by now. Shall I take it out? Let's give it another second or two. It may just be shy. It's one of the things with this species, they are incredibly shy. Yeah, it definitely doesn't look interested. <laughs> Let's take the worm out, shall we? It's possible it could be in pre-malt. So there it is, Homeoma species Blue Peru 2. On closer look, it does look like it's in pre-malt as the blue on the legs has got really dark so hopefully it will molt again soon and I'll be able to do an update and show you the striking blue coloration on the legs and the creamy markings so happy to have this in the collection so let's move on to the next one so next up on the rare species is, as you can see, a pair of Tlitter cattle Schroederi or Schroederi, however you want to say it. Now I have waited absolutely years for these to come in at the spider shop and when they did I had to snap a couple up. To have a pure black Tlitter cattle species, which kind of re resembles Gramostola pulchra, or Gramostola Kiragai. You can't go wrong, and these are absolutely stunning when they grow up. So anyone who is a fan of Gramostola Pulchra will absolutely love these. The only downside is, just like the Gramostolas, they do take forever to grow. But let's try and feed this pair, shall we? 
first. Let's pop these lids off. Oh, there's one there. Let's get a tiny little worm. One that's a good size for it. There you go. Hopefully this one eats. You can already see it's really dark from the legs and from the abdomen. Hopefully it gets interested in the worm. And you see a little takedown. If not, I will take the worm out and I will try the second one. That worm isn't doing much wriggling. Maybe the spider doesn't know it's there. Okay, so I just took the worm out. It doesn't look interested. It's just chilling. Maybe this one's also in pre-molt. So let's try the other one. Hopefully we get better results with this one. Let's get the tiny worm. Oh, there you go. That one was hungry. That one was definitely hungry. It's just a shame that it didn't come out and come and sit on the top. There you go. Slitkettle Sheroderi. Or Sheroderi. Next up is one that I saw recently featured on Tom Moran's Tom Big, Tom's Big Spiders channel, an adult female, and she was absolutely beautiful. So I'm really excited to have this in the collection. You don't see them too much, but this is Lassadores Polycaspulatus. I think it's Lassadores. Or you could say Lassadora, they're very closely related. Hopefully this one is hungry. Let's try it, let's drop in the worm. And see if we get a good takedown. Yep. Already showing those beautiful silver colors and the stripes on the legs. Very voracious eaters, as you can see. Great feeding response. And these are supposedly got a very calm temperament. Though they can be skittish when they're much smaller. But definitely a beautiful species. Just chowing down on the millworm. Absolutely stunning. So there it is, Lassadores polycaspulatus. Next up we have, now I've forgotten the genus name of this one. I know it begins with a P, I'll have to look it up. This is P. Amazonicus. The green goblin spider. Yeah, it has got that Spider Man uh, connotation to it. Hopefully, we can get it out of the burrow. If not, I'll have to do a video on this at some point in the future. And this was out and about earlier. So I know it's in the burrow. I 
There is an old malt here, so let's just get that out. So it doesn't get con I don't get it confused with the actual spider. Is it gonna come out and take it? It doesn't look like it. Oh, you just saw the leg. You can see the leg as it takes the worm. Damn it. I knew I should have taken that worm out and just kept trying it. But it's doing well, that's the main thing. Here it was, P. Amazonicus. Next up, you would have seen this in a previous video. This is Famictopus species El Salvador. Now I still haven't managed to find any adult images of this tarantula. So if anyone has any images of an adult specimen, please send them to me this is an absolute mystery on what this is going to look like when it grows up but as you know my favorite terrestrial species or genus even is Formictopus. hopefully this one's hungry they can be shy when it comes to eating i've noticed that with Formictopus. It can be very, very, very shy. Sometimes they'll sit there, they'll let the prey walk around. And then when you're just about to take it out, that's when they want to go for it. So we'll give this a second or two. Gorgeous blue coloration. Do you want it, buddy? Do you want the worm? It's right there. And the worm is walking away. Let's try and encourage it a bit. Buddy, there's a nice juicy worm there for you. No, it doesn't look like it wants it. Trust you to show me up in the video. I just sit there and say about your eating habits. Now you'll eventually turn around and have it, and then you're really not interested. Should we take it out? You don't want it? You watch me go to take it out now and it turns round. No, 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 no. No, buddy. Back in. Take the worm out. And now this has turned into a unnecessary sling handling video. Such a beautiful little thing, look at that. Let's try and get it more in focus. There you go. Just think you're going to turn up into a Big spider with a lot of attitude. Should we get you back in your enclosure where you belong? Safe and sound? Yeah. Let's 
Mm. In you go. Come on. You know I don't like handling. Mm. There it is for Mictopus species. El Salvador. All the way in. There you go. Beautiful spider. Next up, you can see at the bottom of the screen right here is Ferrophosidae species Panama. Or so I've been led to believe has recently been renamed Davis species Panama. And this is the Lava Tarantula. I have got another video on the channel of when I picked this one up and they are absolutely beautiful but let's see if we can get it to to eat and drop the worm there you can just see it moving in the top of the shot there there it is it's on the move there it goes hungry little spider Beautiful takedown. So happy to have this in the collection. You really don't see them around often. And when you do, they either get snapped up really quickly, and the price of them is through the roof. I'm always on the search for another one of these. They are such stunning, striking tarantulas with those red and black colorations. Hopefully we'll get a better shot of her or him. Hasn't been sexed yet. Obviously it's a tiny sling. Hopefully it's a female. It's just chowing down on the worm now. Will we get a happy dance? Alright, next up on the rare species is one that I've done in a previous video and also again Tom Moran has made a video on. Oh, it's down there behind the cork bark hide you can just make out its little booty there this is Formictopus species by a hippie now this is one of the most exciting tarantulas I've got just because again I don't know what these turn out to be as adults I've seen several photos online and they all contradict each other so I don't know which one to believe so seeing this one grow up is going to be super exciting and this is the one that Tom Moran was super jealous of until he managed to get his hands on one and I think looking at his his is growing a lot quicker than mine but let's see if we can get this out of the burrow let's see if it's hungry Yep, it's interested. It knows it's there. Let's just pull it a little bit, a little bit closer. Hopefully to tease it out of the burrow. Trust the worm to now play dead. Oh, there you go. Keep trying it. Yeah, it's moving. Yeah, 
Lovely takedown. Just get better. Beautiful, beautiful spider. You can still make out some of that blue. Although it has darkened up a lot since it was a teeny tiny sling when it was a really bright, brilliant blue. Kind of like a Carabena Versicolor. Or like the uh, El Salvador that was earlier in the video. But that's it for Mictopus species by Akibi. So, possibly the last one. I'm still waiting for the spider shop delivery to turn up. So it's a bit tense. This could be the last one. Or there could be a special appearance but I'm not really gonna count on it so I'll say this is the last one this is a species that everybody goes nuts for and can never find them no matter how hard they look this is homeoma chiliensis you can just start seeing that coloration come out and these are an absolutely beautiful species of spider. Very good for beginners. Great temperament. Let's see if it wants the worm. No, don't dig down. Hopefully it's interested. Hopefully we get a good feeding clip. I must say out of all the rare tarantulas in my collection, this has to be my favorite one. Here we go. It's interested. Go on, buddy. I hope this is a little girl. I'd be over the moon if this is a female. Come on, it's going to dig its way down. But... <laughs> You're so slow. It's got away from you, you nutter. Now I'm going to have to dig it out. What are you doing? Oh, do you want it? You looked interested. Look at the beautiful coloration on it. You can already see the orange spot on the booty. And this one was a tiny, tiny 0.5 centimeter sling when I got it, possibly smaller than that. It was a little grain of sand, almost. You couldn't make it out in the vial. And it's taken about a year and a half to put on this much size, but it is a dwarf species. I don't think it wants the worm. So we're going to leave this one here and hopefully we have another clip for you. If we don't, the video will end right here. Okay guys, it arrived just as I was giving up hope and I was thinking the homeoma chiliensis would be the final tarantula in the video. The postman came through and the box has arrived. Forgive me for opening this all up while you're here and not having it done before you got here, but the excitement 
it's just overwhelming that I wanted you guys to uh, experience this with me. Box inside a box, which is typical of the spider shop. I don't know if you can tell, I'm really excited for this. And I'm sure a few people have got one of these recently. They just appeared after the spider shop did their update. And it was one of those ones I thought to myself, you know what? I need to get this right. Here's one. Aha, here it is. You know what that is? Homeoma Peruvianum. This is brand new in the hobby. So this is rare. Not seen these before, but what we're going to do is get this unpacked, probably rehoused in this vial because it is only one centimeter, and give you a better look at it. Also, got some springtails here for my next bioactive enclosure. Let's just double check, see if the spider shop can put anything of any. Of any freebies in there, no, that's the heat pack. No, that's it. Homeoma Peruvianum. <gasps> Let's get it rehoused. Right, so here we go. Homeoma Peruvianum. Absolutely gorgeous species. Let's just take this out and give you guys a good look at it. This is going to be absolutely tiny. It's only one centimetre. Oh yeah, there it is. It's less than a centimetre. Wow. It's probably about the same size as when I got my H. chiliensis. How tiny is that? So what I'm going to do is pop it in its vial, which is now nicely filled with substrate. There you go, buddy. Wow, I am so proud to have this in the collection. Three homeoma species, the Peru Blue 2, the Chiliensis, now the Peruvianum. Fantastic. Look how tiny that is. Absolutely beautiful. Now I'm not normally a huge fan of the dwarf species, but the homeomas I do make an exception for. You don't often see them in the hobby because they're not exported that much or at all anymore. So getting one is a real achievement. That is just wow. I'm going to leave it there to get settled in and burrow down and make a little home for itself, but that is fantastic. You're awesome, buddy. Take care. So, there are some of the rare species I keep in the collection. There are others, but unfortunately, they're all burrowed away. They're all in pre-molt, so I didn't manage to get good footage of them. But hopefully, the ones I did get in this video, you all enjoyed. 
Now this is the end of the video, but before we go, I just want to take the time to remind you guys at home about the 2,000 subscriber giveaway we've got going on the channel. At 2,000 subscribers, I'll be giving one of you the chance to win a T Celadonia. And if that's not enough, I'm throwing in a Ferrofosa Apophysis. All you have to do to be entered is be subscribed to the channel, go over and watch my Grammar Stola Rosea video, and just type T Celadonia in the comments. Once you've done that, you'll be entered and in with a chance to win. So hopefully you're all running off now, you're hitting that sub button, and I see lots of T Celadonias in those comments. So I'm gonna end it here. This is the end of the video. Hope you have a great week. We'll see you in the next one.